Good morning, Little Phil class, and welcome to another English lesson where today we're going to have a look at all the, a lot of the spelling rules that we have looked at this year, revised them again. So this one, J, it makes the sound J, but it used the graphemes, they're the letters G E or D G E. So, see if you can read the words. So I'll do the top line like budge, age, badge, sledge. I think if it's like an uh or an uh, a short vowel, I think mainly the rule is that gra graphemes D, G, E. Or if it's a long one like age and ch, age or ch. Arj, it's G-E. So you think carefully. wonder if you'd be able to write me a sentence incorporating one of them words too. Let's have a look at words with silent letters. N, like in nap sack. Or in knee. Or in gnaw or gnome. I want you to be able to read that little passage. See if you can spot the n words, whether it's K-N or G-N. Oh, now then, which ending? A-L, E-L, I-L, L-E. Now we know L-E, that's quite common, don't we? And that's in... Again, like short ones like battle, kettle, muddle. See if you can work out pet, al, capital, camel, pen still. So check your words maybe with an adult. Again, are you able? To incorporate one of them words into a sentence. Now these are plurals, okay? Now we've done these before where the rule is we change the Y to an I and add ES. So diary becomes diaries. So we change the Y and it becomes IES. Are you able to do that for all of the other words? Now then, this is where we have to see double. So, in the consonants, what suffix that? Like hum, humming, hummed. So it's whether it's a short vowel. If it's a short vowel and a consonant, we double the last letter, don't we? Big, bigger, biggest. Again, the suffix er and s. But where it's a short vowel, we double it. Now then, read the following words and sort them into shun, like invention. It's like a chun, isn't it? Or decision. So it's a ch. That T I makes a ch. Listen, invention. Completion. Okay, see so if you can read them and sort them words into either whether it's T I O N or S I O N. Now, homophones. Now, these are words when the words sound the same, but they're spelt differently and they have different meanings. Look, so we've got C and C. So, C with your eyes. S W -E S E A C that you swim in. They sound the same, they spell different look, one's double E, one's E A, and they've certainly got different meanings. Look, so we've got the flour that you bake with and the flour that you have in the garden. Night, that shining a night in shining armour, and the night, the period of day. Bear. Now the bear like the animal bear or B 
bare skin, bare feet. Male, the male that I have delivered, and a man is a male, isn't it? Now then, and then underneath, see if you can talk to an adult about leak, blue, two, look, there's three there, B and pear. I wonder if you can pick the right homophone, like, I'd like a piece of cake. Tom blew out the candles. Sally picked some flowers for Granny. The night was shining armour. Dad liked swimming in the sea. A huge bear stomped through the forest. We had a we had a leak with the kitchen tap. Can you pick the correct homophone? Now then, months of the year. Can you read them out? Now, like May, very easy, isn't it? It's got the A phoneme, like at the end, May Day. March, again, very easy. R and Ch. August has got R, and then we've got Gust. Patterns, look at them. We've got Burr on the end of September, October, November, December. I think we can spell them quite easily, can't we? June would be the oo, split oo. July, look, oo as in July. The tricky ones are Jan, U, Ari. Feb, Ru, Ari. So can you spot the patterns in some of them? Like they've got burr. Can you spot some phonemes, like some sounds like R and A and U? Can you write a sentence with one of them? What about challenging you to have the year one, two list of words too? I'm sure you have that. Are you able to read them? Can you spell them all? Can you write them in a sentence? I would love to see some of this work emailed to me. So, enjoy the task and continue to stay safe.